I'm Dean Sylvester. And I'm Jamin Tunstall. Welcome to BCF TV. Today we're going to run through at a beginner's level how to catch bass on soft plastics. We'll run through everything you need to get yourself set up on the water and catching fish. So I want to run through rod and reel selection. So your, your basic rod and reel that you will need to be able to catch bass on soft plastics is pretty simple. You run with a rod that's between 6 foot 6 and 7 foot long. You want to have a, a spin rod, not an overhead rod. So a spin is a conventional style with the, with the egg beater type reel underneath. And you want to run with a rod that's rated between 6 to 10 pounds. With your reel, you want to have a 25 to 2000 size. So it's middle of the range, not too small, not too big. But you want about that range so you can have good capacity of 6 to 10 pound line. Our main line today is a braided line. It's a lot thinner than a standard monofilament line. Uh, it's got no stretch and it's a lot more sensitive. On the end of the braided line, we've got a leader. Yeah, you need to have a leader on your line um, just for abrasion resistance. So join the two together, we're using an FG knot. Um, it's a very thin knot. To see how to do the FG knot correctly, there's a ton of videos on YouTube that you can take a look at. So now we're at the business end, the lure. So for a basic setup, you either want a 3 8 to half ounce jig head, any around that range is good. And for the plastic, you want around the 3 inch size is, seems to be the most common. You can run a curl tail or a paddle tail, but for the purpose of today, we got most of our bites on a paddle tail type lure. With colours of the soft plastic, so I won't go into too much detail, but as a general rule, if you stick to colours like greens, browns, uh, sort of slightly see-through greens, they can have a little bit of glitter in it, anything like that's fine, but if you just stick to those greens, browns, you can't go too wrong. When it comes to setting this up with the plastic and the jig head, there's two important things to make sure you do correctly, otherwise it won't work. So one, make sure you try and get the hook point where it's going to exit the lure before you put it in. Which brings me to my second point, make sure you rig it straight. So the first place you're going to start to have a look is around the points of the dam. The points of the dam are, are where the fish congregate. A lot of the bait fish will push up onto the point. So it's a prime spot really to start looking for them. We want to use our electronics, our sounders, to, to sound around the point just to have a look and see what sort of depth the fish are sitting in. I just want to run through one, the most simple and the most effective. So the technique is called a slow roll. So all you really do is cast your plastic out on a taut line, so with your bail arm closed, wait for your lure to hit the bottom. So the best way to tell the lure is on the bottom, your line will be taut as it's sinking. As the lure touches the bottom, you'll feel a bit of slack in the line. Once you feel that slack, just start winding your reel, sort of maybe one to two seconds per revolution of your reel. If you just continue with that slow, steady retrieve pace, that'll work fine. By now, you should be confident targeting and catching bass on soft plastics. Stay tuned for future videos as we delve deeper into targeting Australian bass.